guys, this is Johnny Travels Junior Special Part 1. So I'd like to apologize because like, this vlog is like posted so late because I've been studying for my exams, two exams. Yeah, uh, and I'm glad like I have time lah, to do this. Uh, made mem many memories in Jeju. And um, so I've split up this um, special, Jeju special into two parts. The first part is on, um, it shows what we did on Friday. And the second part is what we did on Saturday. Yes. So the um so for many of you all like you have been asking like how did we like travel around in Jeju and uh initially on where we land fly and land on Thursday night we wanted to rent a car but uh, we didn't bring our international driving permit IDP yeah so um we had to do it the old fashioned which is like by public transport. Uh I would think that um, traveling by bus isn't that unreliable. Yeah, just that because it's a big, it's an island, and like traveling to all these like same places, like the bus takes. Um, uh, yeah, you can't predict the timing, and they don't show the arrival time. Um, accurate, it's accurate lah, but when they show it, but they don't show it often. Yeah, so um, you must really measure your time well and be flexible. Yeah. Um, but we feel that um yeah the when we travel right by bus like the bus is really like GTA like that really so it's quite fast lah yeah and uh, I didn't think that it was like a loss like not having a car but I think it's okay yeah and because we uh only go there for two days two nights so it's okay and um but for in the next few places um, that I'll show you on part one, I'll do some recommendations. So if you um, uh, through this vlog, you can like ask me questions also. Um, if you feel that I didn't address like much of the places well, lah. yeah. So yeah, let's watch the vlog. So the first place that we went to is Seongsan Yuchubong, which is Sunrise Peak. So this place is uh, recommended by a lot of uh, a lot of people, and I would say that it's a um, good recommendation if you have a car, <laughs> if you rent a car, and um, really get up to see the sunrise because in summer, Korea in Korean time, uh, sunrise is at five twenty three a.m. around that. Yeah, so um, if you rely on public transport, you can't because the bus can't get you there at sunrise. Yeah, and um, that's why it's a pity, but um, I feel it's still a good place to go. Um, what we're really very thankful is that there were lockers so that we can put our belongings there and then we can go and hike up with like, our necessities. Uh. Yeah, and uh, what we say, rare wear proper track shoes or like running shoes for comfortable walk because there's many steps yeah and uh, in summer it's like very hot and sunny yeah there's nothing to protect you so sunscreen is a good thing you can see i'm still like sunburned um, my rashes are getting better yeah i, I got rashes yeah and so um so uh, Sunrise Peak is, um, as you can see, it's a very nice place. Uh, there's even like a horseback riding um, place and also a women's diverse performance, which is around 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, so if you come to this place, um, either come during the sunrise timing, if not, you can choose like other timings to come also. Lah. It doesn't um, hurt coming at like different timings yeah also there's an entrance fee that you need to pay which is around 5,000 won I think it's 5,000 yeah correct so um, other than that I, um, this is what I would recommend mm, if you want me a rate of 5 maybe a 4 4 or 5 for a sexing place and come with friends yeah moving on Hello, we are at Manjangu Lava Cave. 
Mr. Pooh and his little explorers. <laughs> So the next place that we went to is Manjangu Cave, which is um, also in English is a lava cave. Uh, used to have uh, from Halasa Mountain, this place like the lava, like um, traveled down and oh, make this cave. Yeah, and this is like the remains of the dried up like lava. And we managed, oh, it became a tourist spot, a UNESCO heritage site, and. Um, I really love this place because the temperature is my prime. It's around 11 to 12 degrees. Um, very, very nice. So for those of you who um, are scared of the cold, remember to bring a jacket to come. Like in summer, like outside is 30 plus degrees. Then when you walk inside, 11 to 12 degrees, shock for me. Right? Yeah, and it helped my skin so much too. And uh, oh yeah, and wear proper shoes because of the lava that like naturally um, dried up the, the floor the place they walk on is like very uneven so um, it's very easy to like sprain your ankle or like fall if you don't have proper shoes uh. yeah and uh, I would say that this place is a very nice like place to come down look at creation of nature and um, for those who love job, job is a geography la. It's a nice place la. and um, yeah. So this is my recommendation. Also, this has locker and there's a ticket um, entrance as well. But for youths, which is twenty four years and old and below, you get to pay half price, which is two thousand one. Yeah. So um, I would recommend this place strongly la. Uh, Even though it's um, the buses mm, quite hard. And uh, there's a backstory because we were waiting for the bus and there's this like taxi driver that saw us and he really wanted to like, earn our money. So initially he like told us 4001, 4001. Um, but I felt it wasn't worth it because the bus is like 1201 1, per person. And there's three of us, so no, no, no. So in the end, he agreed to 3001. So yeah. Um, so glad <laughs> and um, yeah this is the backstory okay moving on 